In this video, we're going to be taking a look at getting started with Revoice Pro 5 in FL Studio 21 and above. If you're looking for more feature-specific, in-depth videos, be sure to check those out on our website. Let's get started. All right, so let's take a listen to the tracks that we're working with. I have them loaded up here in the playlist. Nice, so overall great sounding, great performances, but there are some pitch and timing adjustments that I'd like to make. So let's get these vocal tracks loaded up into Revoice Pro 5. I'm going to select my first female lead vocal, go to more plugins, and search for the Revoice Pro Link plugin. So there it is there, I'll choose the VST3 version, and I'll do the same thing on my male lead track. More plugins. Perfect, so you can see Revoice Pro is not running. All I have to do is click this button and it'll open up. Nice, so now what I want to do is just name the tracks I'll be loading these vocals into. So I'll put female lead. Now I can go back into FL Studio. I'm just gonna go to my female lead and make sure it's matching there, and then go to my male lead. Perfect. So now what I have to do is enable capture for both of these, and I can do that by holding shift and pressing on one of them, enable capture. Now Revoice Pro is listening. I can press play on my playlist and it'll capture those two tracks. And let's go into Revoice Pro and we have our vocals loaded in. So the first thing I'll do is just go to tracks and go to auto size track heights just to take advantage of the screen real estate here. And now I wanna start by tuning this female lead vocal. So what I can do is right click here and click adjust pitch timing and level. And I'll solo it out and also maximize this working space. So there's our pitch traces for the female vocal. So let's get started with tuning. When it comes to tuning in Revoice Pro 5, there's a ton of approaches you can take. One of the quickest approaches is just simply pressing Option and W, and it's gonna lock the tuning into 100% correction based on what the singer has sung in relation to the chromatic scale here. So let's listen to that. Nice, I'm happy with that, but I wanna get into some more of the manual functions of Revoice Pro. So I'm gonna undo that, and now I'm going to zoom in on this pitch trace here. And I can zoom in easily by just holding down Option and Command and dragging to the right and down. And you can kind of get right in there, which is really great. Now, zooming into this pitch block, you can see I have three squares down here and one up here. Our first control here is the correction. You can blend it in from zero to 100. And now we have level change where you can increase the decibels of volume on that specific word or syllable. This is perfect if you don't wanna go back into your mix into your automation lanes. Here we have drift, which kind of changes the angle of the pitch trace. So if you have a singer that's starting off pretty sharp here, like you see here, we can bring that down. So it's a bit more natural. Perfect. And then here we can actually flatten the pitch trace if you want more synthetic tuning. Or we can exaggerate it by just pulling up here. And we can go pretty far if we wanted to. So if you want to accentuate vibrato or dial it back a bit, this is perfect for doing that. And at any time, if you want to reset the notes, you can right click and reset them based on the pitch timing level or all the changes you've made. One more thing you can do is just click and hold the middle and you can drag it to specific notes. I think the approach for this I'm going to take is selecting all of them, right clicking and bringing up the center note tool. This is going to allow me to blend in the correction so it's not all the way at 100%, maybe around 80%, it's quite tuned but still has some of the natural qualities of that vocal take. So let's take a listen to the result here. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You again. 
again. Guess I need somebody, buddy like you. Nice. It's sounding really great. I think there was one area where I noticed it was a bit flat, so I'm going to zoom in there and take care of that. So we can see it here. I'm just going to bring it up a bit. There we go. I'm going to right click, select the cutter tool. I'm just going to splice those and give me a bit more control. Now I'm going to select both of those pitch blocks and double click. And you can see it corrected them beautifully. Need somebody, buddy like you. Let's say I'm happy with that tuning. Now the next step is I want to apply that same tuning and alignment to my male lead vocal here. And I can do that by simply pressing B and it's gonna bring up this new process window. It's here where I can start to select what I would like. So I wanna match the pitch, timing, and level. That's the selected audio, these two tracks I have, and we can select a preset. So a preset I think will work great for this music is the tight timing and pitch match all notes. So I'm gonna select that. I have my guide track set to female and I have my male set to dub. So let's just hit create new process. Perfect, so there it is. So let's listen to the before and after. I'm gonna mute this process track and we'll play the unprocessed first. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You, again. Nice, okay, and after. So I'll unmute this, mute that. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You, again. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Nice, I'm really happy with the result there. We can go into FL Studio and we're actually able to hear the changes with our instrumental track here. The easiest way to get your audio from Revoice Pro 5 back into FL Studio is simply right clicking, select the audio, and then holding Option and Shift and dragging that audio right back into your playlist. So you can see it's there, that's the adjusted vocal. And then I'll go here for my male lead and I'll just select the audio, and there it is. And then if we wanted to, we'll move this down a couple and then we'll just drop those in there. So we have the unprocessed on tracks one and two and the processed on tracks three and four. So let's just listen. Nice, it's sounding great. Now, before we go, I want to do one more thing. I was hearing a double right at the end of a phrase here. Let's just listen. Again, cause like you, you, again. Yeah, right there, I want a female double of just that word. Again. So I'm going to highlight where I want the double. I'm going to press B to bring up that new processed window again. And then from here, I'm going to select doubler. And then I'll select selected playback range. And that's just the range that I set there. I can select a doubler preset. So for this, I'm going to choose stereo vocal mild, which is a really nice wide preset actually, and create new process. So let's listen to that process with the female lead and just see what it sounds like in Revoice Pro. Again. Nice, huge and wide. It's gonna be really nice to accentuate that part of the song. And I can do that same thing here. I'll select audio. And then I'm just going to drag it in to another track and go into FL Studio. And then I'm just going to align it with my main track. Again. Nice, so I have the doubles lined up. Let's take a listen to the final result. And that's getting started with Revoice Pro 5 and FL Studio. If you're looking for more in-depth tutorials or content on specific features, be sure to check those out on our website. Thanks for watching.